Hey guys, I'm back with another election prediction video. This time we're having President Joe Biden go off against Governor of Florida Ron DeSantis, who honestly, he really could be the next uh, 2024 Republican nominee. I mean, he could even have a chance against Trump in the primary, but I still think Trump would be the favorite there. But you shouldn't rule out DeSantis. He really might be the next Republican candidate, and I do think the Republicans would be better off in selecting DeSantis. I think he has some strengths in the Sun Belt that Trump doesn't have anymore. So let's get right into this. First day is Iowa. Biden's approvals are in the low 30s in the state. I don't think it's really going to be competitive as a swing state anymore in the future either. It's trending Republican every election. Texas, I think DeSantis will be able to win this state by 7 to 8 percent against Joe Biden. He has a lot of strengths in the Sun Belt, and I do think that's going to help him contribute to a victory here in Texas. Florida, it's DeSantis' home state, no doubt. He would, he's more popular in the state than Donald Trump is. And he's the current governor there, which is, gives you a huge boost in politics if you're the governor of a state and you're running for president. So I do think DeSantis will be able to win the state by about 6% against Joe Biden. North Carolina, probably be about, about a 3 or 4% margin DeSantis would have on Joe Biden in this state mainly because Biden's approvals aren't that terrible anymore. They're in the low to mid-40s, which is winnable for a president, especially in this day and age where most voters hate both candidates that major parties put forward. The state of Ohio, I think DeSantis will be able to win this state by 8 to 9%. I think it would just hold steady right there. Uh, Nebraska's second, I think Joe Biden will be able to win this narrowly against Ron DeSantis. Well, Colorado, I see it going as a safe state for Joe Biden, Virginia, and New Mexico, which I see as a 6 to 7% lean for the Democrats. Virginia, probably 8%. Uh, the next few states. Georgia, it's a neighboring state from Florida, and I do think DeSantis would do fare better with independent voters here, which dislike Trump quite a bit, especially moderate Republicans, and maybe DeSantis will be able to win them over as a new fresh face for the Republican Party and someone who's less toxic than Donald Trump. In the state of Arizona and Nevada, I do think DeSantis' strength among Latina voters will help him come and play in Nevada. And I do think DeSantis will be able to flip back reluctant uh, Biden Republicans who voted for Biden in the 2020 election just because of their hatred of Donald Trump. Uh, the next few states. Maine at large, I think would definitely... I think it would still be like 5% likely. Could go down to lean, but I think it'll still remain as a likely state. DeSantis will be able to win Maine second, while New Hampshire polling shows DeSantis has like a 2% lead on Joe Biden, which is pretty narrow, so I'm going to put this as a tilt Republican state. Plus, on social issues, they're actually fairly liberal, so I do think DeSantis would struggle a bit here against Joe Biden, which is why I'm putting as a tilt state, just narrowly in favor of Ron DeSantis. The states of Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. I do think DeSantis will be able to emulate Trump pretty well in the Rust Belt and win over the populist voters, the securing an election win against for him against Joe Biden. And these last few states, I still think Biden would be able to win Michigan and Minnesota against Ron DeSantis. And these are the margins, I would say. So overall, DeSantis would be a lot stronger, especially in states like Georgia, Arizona, Nevada, and New Hampshire. Well, Trump will probably keep about even with DeSantis in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan. Trump could have room to do better than DeSantis in these states, but I do think DeSantis will be able to fairly emulate Trump well in all three of these Rust Belt states. So, that's my election prediction. If it was Joe Biden versus Ron DeSantis, let me know what you think this in the comments below. See you guys in the next video.